Hey guys, welcome to the Vinyl Casket. Sorry I've been quiet this week. It's just been a lot of stuff going on. Uh, new sleep schedule with my new job, so it's just a little crazy. Uh, but this is the Vinyl Casket. I'm Nick. This is my weekly comic book review. But we got some extra stuff. I got an unboxing from Antihero Gallery. Uh, and a uh, thing I bought from... Uh, CheapGraphicNovels.com. So, uh, if you haven't, please uh, follow, subscribe on here, follow on Instagram at Violent Casket and Violent Casket Comics, uh, The Violent Casket on YouTube, and one month later on Instagram, YouTube, and one month later Club on Twitch. Okay. So, we got this bad boy. We'll start with this. So if you can't see me, if it looks funny, I'm sorry. They really do a good job. And uh, with, here, let me put this over here. With Antihero Gallery, um, I already took it out of the shipping container, the shipping package. It was in a uh, United States Postal box with uh, like a comic like style cardboard container around it you know where it has like multiple flaps and it has the built-in thing to keep so it goes around this and then it's flaps on top of it they created its own box and then it was inside of a box um they do a really good job so does cheap graphic novels which i'm not sponsored or anything by them but they always do a great job uh this is full of paper. Okay. This is going to be... Yeah, like... I'll show you guys in a second, but... Let me get the bag out of it. I'm going to give you a shopping bag, which is the strangest thing, but I'll, I'll take it. Okay. So we got Grant Morrison's Volume 3. So if you don't know, you probably already know, I just got Volume 2. Uh, I haven't gotten Volume 1 yet. Probably going to wait on that. Yeah, but this whole box is just up to here with just wrapping paper. And then it just caresses the box like it was like... So, I didn't even notice the fat girl that uh, Stephanie Brown was at the bottom here. I'm assuming that's Dick Grayson, uh, Damien, Catwoman, Batwing, who needs to show back up in the comics and stop being a dick. I'm assuming that's Cassandra Kane. I don't think there's anyone else that I really know because I've never read this run. Huntress, Metamorpho, Red Robin, All right, Alfred, and uh, Detective Gordon. So we got that's awesome. Those are the other one. Um, we'll stretch the spine, guys. So you have the black paper. So we got extras. Ooh, go back. Was that? Look at this. Early Nightwing. Uh, Batwing. I don't like this costume for Batwing, but. I think it's going to be back characters like Night Runner. Dude, the art in this book. So this is when Batman comes back from being dead after his final crisis. Uh, 
was like Batman Incorporated and everything. So all these wacky bat characters. Dude. I don't know if you guys can see all this, but artwork here is phenomenal. All sorts of wacky shit in this run. Oh, very excited to read this eventually. Uh, obviously, I have a huge stack. I gotta finish Red Hood, uh, New 52 Red Hood and the Outlaws. Then I'm gonna jump in to New Teen Titans, Volume 2 and 3. Then I'm gonna jump into the Morrisons. Okay. So, I bought the... Black Bag Mystery Packs, the Volume 2 from Anti-Hero Galleries. So this is, you guys can see, that's Bag 808. Alright, so let's... Alright, it's all sorts of whacked up. Okay, so we're going to do the first one from the bottom. Oh, yes. So they have themes. So every bag is individually curated and has a theme. So it looks like I got a Batman themed. I don't know what the theme of Batman is, but that's perfect. Last time I got ind Indies, and that's okay. Like I got a cool issue of Radiant Black and some Beast Wars stuff. But this... Just starting off the bat with, with a variant of The Adventure Continues 3, and they just announced a season 2. Uh, I am noticing, though, that the cover is a little shrunk on it. Because you can see the panels sticking out. I don't know if that's a normal thing with this variant. I don't know. Okay, next one. So you guys get a closer look. Awesome, awesome Barbara Gordon in the gray costume. Oh, wow. Didn't expect that. Okay, this is Ghost Rider Return of Vengeance. Issue 1, variant. All right, I don't know what the theme is anymore. Uh, okay, that's sick. Sick cover. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, all right, these next two... Oh, wow. That's a Vampirella. Um, that's a Virgin. That's a Virgin Vampirella variant cover. I've never read Vampirella. I know I see stuff about them, uh, about the, the the book on the internet all the time. I see people do it. I know Jim Mint did a, a variant. That's insane. That's a Virgin cover. Wow. Wow. So far, looks like we only got four books this time. Um, so this is Vengeance. Um, I showed you guys this one. This is my favorite so far. Uh, but this is definitely something. I got to look up how much this is worth. I don't even know what issue this is or anything. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I uh, did not expect that. Wow. So this is the white background, and this is like a sick back. Okay, I gotta figure out what issue this is. So these, okay. Uh, 
Alright, so... This is an Elite Comics exclusive. Uh, I just ordered something from them. Oh, I said Dynamite. I always forget what company does this. What is this, issue 11? No, issue 13. Okay, so there's five covers. This is issue 13. So I need to look at... Alright, give me a second, guys. I want to look this up. No, that's not it. Oh, this isn't this isn't the fucking run I'm looking for. That's why. God damn it, I'm looking at the wrong run. Okay. Uh Enter. I'm looking for the current run, current run, current run. Why wouldn't it just show me the current run? Like, obviously, why would I be looking for an older run on this website? Let's see, Red Sonya crossovers. Here you go. Vampirella to present. Yeah, there's a lot of variants for this. I need 13. I need 13. How many freaking variants per issue? Oh my god. Alright, so it says in that cover, it says 5... Variants, there's way more than five variants here for, th for 13. All right, so I got the variant A and I got the variant B. All right, but there's multiple variant A's and variant B's. So this is the El Elias Chadosi variant A and variant B. Which isn't even listed as the covers on the inside. Oh, please see the back of the book for all cover variants. Okay. Do we have it? Oh, okay, here we go. So, you have all of these... And then you have these two, which is what I was given, which is the Virgin variant. So these are Comics Elite. So this is exclusive to Comics Elite. Um, Damn, I'm going to have to ask the boys in uh, one month later what to do with these. See if there's anything to do with them. Uh, if you guys will, hit me up. Oh, shall. Not connected to this character in any way, shape, or form. Not connected to Diamond in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I'm a supporter of Elite Com of Comics Elite. 
Um, I'm pretty sure. What did I get from them? I'm waiting for a package. Yes, I'm waiting for a package. Uh, I'm waiting for my uh, my variant of Alien. Okay, so to recap this, this black bag from Antihero Gallery was way better than the first one, in my opinion, uh, for what I got. Uh, so I got... Only got four books, which, you know, whatever. Uh, you know, 50 bucks, four books. Kind of annoying. But I'm assuming that this and this is where the value's at. Um, damn. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if Ghost Rider is issue one. I don't even know what year this is from. This is Return of Vengeance. Uh, I don't know if this is worth anything. Uh, I'm assuming this isn't worth anything. Because I... This series was pretty readily available. And it was digital first. Um... Maybe, maybe it's worth something. I don't know who, who the artist is. I do not see a... Oh, there's a signature. I can't read that. Um, but yeah, uh, this video will be on YouTube, so if anyone in the comments wants to tell me what these books are worth, please. Okay, now, on to our normally scheduled program. We got our books. We got our books. We got our books. All right. So, oh, you meant to do this one. Here we go. Nightwing, 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 Infinite Frontier, issue 78, phenomenal. Okay, let me put this over here. Let me grab this. Let me do walk through with you guys. Resealable bags, it's the way to go. Okay, boom, Tom Taylor, baby, holy shit, you god angel from heaven, can he write Flash, can he please write Flash, like, save the Flash franchise, please, alright, awesome cover, so, we get flashbacks of Barbara Gordon and Dick meeting, uh, out of the pen Alfred Pennyworth doing his thing. Get his awesome, awesome. Oh my goodness, dude. Like, that's how you open. <sighs> oh, the book? Fuck yeah. Uh, ads. This is next week. We already got this. We already got this. This is next week. Awesome art. I love the way he's drawn. Uh, more shit. Finally. Um, I love the colors. Bright. He's got a, gets a dog. This guy in Bloodhaven causing issues. Kills the guy. This woman takes over. This woman is related to the person that killed uh, Dick Grayson's parents. He's about. To, he sees that someone broke is into his house, so he's gonna in his apartment. So he's gonna break. He's gonna fight them. It's Barbara. Gets his awesome, awesome dialogue. Awesome way. I love how she's drawn. Fuck this book. I'm not getting it. Um, he sees that he was left something in the will by Alfred, and it was a lot of money. And you get to read Alfred's letter for him, which is awesome. I love this. I love this. Uh, and then you get this little end about what that woman's going to do. And that's it. That's what you get. And I'm excited. Uh, that was a 9 out of 10. Fuck yeah.
Tom Taylor, dude. You can't do wrong with that Australian gentleman. Okay. We're going to hit it off the back. We're going out of order. We're just doing crazy shit. Crazy shit. I got to eat. I got to make some food. I got to eat. So let's get this done. Boom. Spider-Man. King of Black tie-in. Standalone one shot. Um, phenomenal. I thought it was going to be some action-packed crazy thing. So... Peter's beating himself up. This is all his fault that he brought the uh, the symbiote to Earth. He brought M uh, Venom to then Carnage and Toxin and, e and Scream and everything that happened afterwards is his fault. And the world's ending because of him. Uh, and then he sees this thing carrying this woman and he thinks it's a symbiote creature. No. It's just reptile. So this book works at basically... It tells a very small Spider-Man story. Basically just a personality story about how great Spider-Man is. We know. Uh, and then introduces rec Reptile into his own ongoing series that's going to happen. I think it's a King in Black one-shot that spins into his own series. God only knows. Um, really, really great issue. Great dialogue. You know, great action. Spider-Man relates well with this kid. Uh, awesome. He says... From hell's heart, I stab at thee. <laughs> Dude, you get this awesome full panel. Really great story. I really enjoyed this. Um, he's texting, you know, they go back in the city to save more people. Uh, and he's texting his friends back at home. Yeah, and then Reptile number one, but it has that King of Black thing on in the corner, so I'm scared. Um, so the last couple panels is in the thought process of Reptile instead of in the thought process of Spider-Man. It's really cool. Um, yeah, very excited for King Black 5. Cannot wait. And Venom 200. Okay. For the book we've all been waiting for, Radiant Black 2. Just continues right off the bat from where we started, where we ended. Um, awesome artwork, cheesy, corny dialogue that just hits right. Um, the relationships. Um, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, you know, him discovering and learning how to control the towers. The police trying to get him to be a hero. Uh, finding out about the uh, the red guy who's a villain goes to to be like an uber driver to find out about this guy and then he finds the guy the the way how he activates his power is so cool how like it just floats up next to him and he grabs it and he squeezes it and he's in the suit so this guy looks a lot more jacked than him he doesn't he barely speaks um And then he go he goes to crash the car and he saves his car and he saves the money. I love this panel style here. Awesome book. Um, I don't know if that's a cape or just energy flaring behind him, but I would love to see him wear a cape. Um. April. Can't wait. I love this. Love this book. Um, 
Spider-Man, I didn't rate it. Uh, I'm going to give it a six and a half. Oh, that's hasn't been happening. That's a six and a half. I'm going to give Radiant Black a seven and a half. No, eight. We'll give it an eight. All right. Now, when the books start to spiral. So this one's good. There's only really one bad book. And it's the one that I've been complaining about. And I keep picking it up. And I don't know why I keep picking it up. But I do. Um, you got X-Force 18. Awesome artwork. Very excited for Wave X. Um, really cool stuff. You continue with this Kid Omega stuff. He's basically battling himself. That's all you get. Um, Beast has a stroke. He can't speak. So he's... I don't know. They gotta kill him. Um, he basically gets stuck in his own head. Uh, yeah, Kid Omega. Uh, I'm gonna give, I'll give it a six. No, five and a half. I'll give it a five and a half. Average book. Uh, you know, the storyline that they ever since. What was it? Uh, X of Swords, the, they've had these ongoing storylines with Kid Omega in X Factor, in X Force. Basically, the whole book's about Kid Omega now. Um, it's okay. I'm not complaining, but it's definitely not what I signed up for. Alright, so you got a new villain in Catwoman. Catwoman 29, back from Future State, Infinite Frontier. Uh, cover art's okay. Uh, straight off the bat, you got this dope-ass honeycomb-looking assassin. Uh, dialogue here's pretty good. Uh, I love Rich Lee and Kyle running like a, like a mafia of street kids. I think it's awesome. Uh, they have Poison Ivy, and this new drug that's out there is actually being used. Poison Ivy is being used to, to create it, and they're going to get rid of her because they don't need her anymore. And they have this assassin person. Who tries to do whatever she does. Uh, he goes. She goes after... The Riddler saves the Riddler. Really? Really solid. I don't know who this guy is. And he's talking questions too. So like, is there like a clone of the Riddler or something? Uh, very excited to see um, Poison Ivy. I know Poison Ivy is going to be featured in Swamp Thing soon. I'm assuming she'd be in uh, Harley Quinn, but I won't know because I'm not reading that shitty art style. Um, I really want to read the Harley Quinn book, but I freaking can't because shit is awful. Like, how the fuck am I supposed to even look at that? What the fuck? This guy gets. No one's gonna buy this book. He's gonna get kicked off the run so quick. Okay. Sword. I don't give a fuck about any of these characters. There's nothing connecting to them. There's no development. There's nothing like. There's this whole hierarchy. You find out in the first book, there's all these different departments, and these are the heads of the departments, and they got people that work underneath them, and like you don't even really see uh, Cortez Fabian. Um, Whiz Kid's cool. Frenzy and Manifold are stupid. Brand is an asshole. Cable have, has almost nothing to do with this book. Magneto, not really. 
You have the five. The, none of them really speak except for hope. Like, I have been a fan of Elixir since he was introduced. So, this pisses me off. Um, this is this is stupid, dude. This is this book makes no fucking sense. You got a tank that morphs into a, a mech. I think Manifold is a cool character, and I like the symbol. I like, you know, the costumes. It's just supposed to be this big, expansive space organization, right? Ran by the mutants. But we haven't seen anything except for like five members that are supposed to be leading departments. We haven't seen the department. You saw random. That was cool. That's it. Brand hasn't done shit, and ev all four issues have been tie-ins to King and Black. Fuck it. Like, X-Force, not a tie-in. X-Men, not a tie-in. New Mutants, not a tie-in. I, th I think Marauders was a tie-in, one issue, you know, other one, you know. All these books, none of them are tie-ins except for one. Like, Marauders had its own one-shot for it. There could have been a one-shot of a sword for this. That's it. I haven't gotten any information about what this series fucking is. Because the first four issues... First issue was just... Super shit that introduced us to a bunch of self-fucking characters without any explanation or development. And a bunch of setup. And this is going to be the organization of how it works. And this is this big, expansive thing. Cool. First issue. Give me information. No connection, no feelings. I don't care about it, whatever. But you gave me a big build-up. Very excited. Issues 2, 3, 4. This is, this is 4, right? Yeah. Is, issue 2, nothing happened. Issue 3, I think, was just a, a manifold dialogue of him jumping around places. And then this, which nothing happened. And now he wants to see Fa he wants to bring back Fabian Cortez. Cool. What what the fuck? I'm so over this. Like I'm gonna get rid of this series. Like look at Random's fucking costume. It's sick. Is it the random or leech? I can't tell. Um There's Cable. So, if this is affecting Kako in such a drastic me measure, why are the other books not referencing it? Marauders only reference it in the water in New York City and not even on the fucking island. If it's like a big deal, what the fuck? That's why I'm, I haven't read any of the times except for the Spider-Man issue. And the Spider-Man issue was a perfect tie-in. It was just a one-shot Spider-Man story about Spider-Man being Spider-Man and, you know, trying to take the blame for this whole thing. We already saw how he's acting. With Dylan. Uh, this is I guess. Before Dylan. Before the events of Venom and Can Black. So. He's just flying around and he's helping people. It's cool. I dig it. I love it. Awesome. This time. Stupid. Because the other books don't reference it. The other books just ignore it. So now you're going to tell me that all the stuff that happened in the other books happened at a different time period? Fuck no. What? Um. Yeah. 
Yeah, um... This book sucks. I'm giving it a two. A two. Um, I, I need to drop this. I just want to finish the story arc. Get that Fabian cover. And that's it. I'm done. I'm dropping it. Issue five, I'm dropping it. I don't think this series can... What Like, did they say it's just a King and Black series? Is it only going to be six issues? Like... I thought this was an X-Men story. It has an X in it. Yeah, that's how they've been doing the Mutant X. That's the Mutant X. I'm not sure how I feel. Um, Obviously, the sword sucked. Uh, Catwoman was pretty good. X-Force was pretty good. Radiant Black was awesome. Spider-Man was awesome. And I love Nightwing. Um, I'm very excited about that, guys. I'll put these back later. Okay. So now, we're gonna go to this. Hello. Uh, so this is next week. So, Cable's only going to be... Um, let me make sure that you guys can see me perfectly. All right, good. Let's do it. Good, do it. Do it. Do it, dude. All right, cables only be 12 issues. Um, very excited. Uh, it's been a good series. I have no complaints with it except for the the X of Sword stuff, which I wish they would extend it just to not include those two issues. Um, Alien 1, very excited. I have a Scotty Young cover coming. Uh, my pick of the regular 2. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 62, very excited. For Boomerang, Cable uh, 9. Uh, three more issues after this. Finally, we get Dark Detective Comics 1034 uh, with a Robin story. Okay, then we get Excalibur 19. Not a King in Black story. Uh, I'm picking up Guardians 12. It's going to introduce... It's going to end us at something and start up the new team in 13, 14, 15. Uh, Teen Titans Academy, issue 1. Very excited for that. Okay. Week after. This is the last con week for a while. So you get uh, Batcat for... I'm trying to get that Jim Lee cover... Uh, Battery Bell, Issue 1, Flash, X-Men, and X-Men Legends. Very excited for X-Men Legends. Okay. Then we get hit. Uh, I'm still debating if I'm going to pick this up. Um, this looks cool as shit. Uh, excited for this, excited for this, excited for that. Um, I'm annoyed that... Is this Venom 200? No. Okay. Oh, no. I skipped too much. Skipped too much. Here we go. I'm annoyed that King Black and Venom are coming out in the same week. When Venom could have easily been out this week. Um... Very annoying. It's an extra book I gotta pick up. But that's there's only three Marvel books I'm picking up. Uh Amazing Spider Man, Venom, and King of Black. All spider books. Great. Suicide Squad. Uh excited about that. Uh Noctara, super pumped for that. Batman, super pumped for that. Excalibur, eh. I might drop Excalibur. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Why am I getting Excalibur? So that's one week, two weeks. 
that's like a week week and a half gap. Uh uh-uh, uh 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 uh. That's stupid. Uh, I might not pick that up. Fuck that. Uh, might not pick that up. Might not pick that up. Got to pick it up. Yo, DC's killing me. With Batman, Green Lantern, Man Bat, Batman, Suicide Squad. And after that, we get this with Joker Two, the Detective. Very excited. These two Virgin Legends, Darkhawk. Might not pick it up. Don't know yet. Guardians Thirteen. Very excited. Nonstop Two. Very excited. Uh, Superman. Wolverine. Alien 2, Spider-Man. Uh, this is that sword issue. Wave X. Well, I told my shop to throw that in. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to read it or not. Fat Cat 5. Nightwing. Radiant Black. Flash. They haven't showed the Jim Lee cover yet. All right, is this the Jim Lee cover? Oh, wait a minute. Oh my god, they're advertising it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This website is advertising it as the Jim Lee variant is the main cover. Even though the main cover is here. Unless I... Wait, that might be a me thing. Yes, I I saved the variant. Okay. (laughs) I'm about to say that doesn't make any sense. I'm very excited for that variant. Hey, this is a big, big week. And then we go into 10. Federate 2. Might not get it. Uh, issue 3. I thought it was going to be three issues, but apparently it's more. Teen Titans Academy 2. Robin. Very excited for that. Uh, Very excited for this week. Might not get that. Very excited for the Star Girl issue. Okay. This is a big week. Uh, and there's nothing I can really drop. This is what kills it. This big book. And you know, that's a heavy hitter. That's a heavy hitter. That's a heavy the th- no, that's normal price. That's normal price. This is a big boy. Um, this is a big boy. That's a dollar more. X Corp is a bigger book. I don't even know what X Corp is gonna be. Uh, I hope that's not the main cover or the cover I get, because I'm not interested in that. Venom 200, very excited. I don't know. It's just going to be a hard week for me. I'm very excited for that cover. Very excited for that. Solid week. This is the second to last cover. So the second to last cover connects with the final cover. It's going to be Young Cable and Old Cable. I think Old Cable is coming back. Uh, that's cool. Noctera, cool. Uh, season two of The Adventure Continues. So, um, perfect. I love this. Um, I'm very excited. Uh, 
so this is introducing the gala, right? Is it the first? Is it the first issue to introduce the gala? Yeah, because there's no gala here, no gala here. Okay, so this is the first issue of the gala. Might not get that hype. Super excited. So this is a book that, that follows up the animated series. Batman the Animated Series from the 90s. So in the first series, the first eight issues, we got to see the introduction of uh, Red Hood and Deathstroke for the first time ever in the animated style in the animated universe. In this book, it looks like we're getting Talon and Dead Man. Uh, DC Pride I'm going to pick up. Hyped on it. This is the only Reborn story I'm getting. And it's just because of this, this Batman-style, Nightwing-style-ass costume for Gwen. It's just Night Gwen. I need to know. I need to know. I need to know what the fuck is going on. Uh, Gala, Gala, uh, Spider-Man, Batman, yeah. So, again, might not get it. Just put it on there just because. Uh, Supergirl, very interested. Uh, batches to cover. The Gala. Alright, so this is, this is planet size. So this is not that much money, which is crazy because X-Men books, they love to milk you. Just saw that cover advertised online. Uh, Alien 4. I'm going to stick with Aliens. Hardcore. Non-stop. New Mutants. Catwoman. Very excited. Very excited for all these books. We're going to see as far as we can go with this. Uh, this is Guardians 15. Very excited. Harley Quinn. I don't know why I have this on here. I said I, was gonna, I wasn't going to collect this. I don't like the way... They're drawing her face at all. Solomon looks cool. But I'm not going to get that. So it's just going to be four books. Gala. Um, that's the cover. Super hyped on this cover. Uh, just saw that advertised. Um, X Factor looks cool. Gala. Um, then just that. And I think, yeah, that's it. All right, so, boom. All right, guys. Um, awesome, awesome unboxing. I have that Spider-Man booth. Um, I got a, a blind box for them coming, and that should be my last thing. And the Scotty Young variant. Uh, I'll do unboxings on that. I also have a record that should be coming eventually. So hopefully that comes around the same time. And I'll do an unboxing of all that stuff. Um, yeah. Fuck it up. Stay lame. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me go back here. You guys want to see this? I see a real cypher disc. They just. Oh. Manual focus. We love manual focus up in this bitch. Huh? Um. Let's 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 thumbnail it up. Uh. I still can't believe I got. This. This makes absolutely no sense. I don't know what the theme was. Was this variants? Like, what the fuck was the theme? Ghost Rider Return of Vengeance. Uh, issue 3 of Batman Adventure Continues. And these two va version variants of Vampirella. I don't... I don't I don't get it. I don't know what the theme was. Last time, the theme was indie books. It was all indie books. Um, uh, and it made sense. 
like you had two issues of Star Wars, uh, of the kids version of the of the Dark Horse kids version Star Wars variants. Uh, I think one was the main cover, one was a variant cover. Then you had a um, what was the other one? I uh, then you had the main cover and a variant cover of or two variant covers of uh, Beast Wars. Uh, I had a you only find them when they're dead. I think variant, and I think the last one was the radiant black variant, which is really cool. Um, geez, can't believe I got these. Whatever, we'll figure it out. Uh, I will be playing some games tomorrow morning. I might not be on the one month later podcast tomorrow. I got some shit to do at night, um, so I gotta get ready. So I might be. Waking up early, streaming, and that's it. I'm working tonight, actually, which is my day off. But it's an overtime day, so you know your boy's got to make that money. Uh, which we moving out, okay? We decided we're getting an apartment, bro. Your boy's going to have a bedroom devoted, devoted to this. It's just going to be you and me, guys. Stay fucking lame. 